Hello everyone, I am Dr. Godhan Raman. In this section, we are going to discuss with Trebuchet inequality introduction part. If we know the probability distribution of random variable x, we know that random variable x. The random variable x having discrete random variable, continuous random variable. So, discrete case and continuous case. So, what is the discrete case? The discrete case is nothing but finite number of value or countably infinite number. Continuous interval, some range. So, this is a discrete continuous case. Now, we can apply with the discrete function, probability function, probability of mass function, continuous probability of density function. So, we may compute expectation of x, the mean expectation of x and variance v of x, variance v of x. Conversely, if mean e of x and variance v of x are known or known then we cannot construct the probability distribution of x we cannot construct the probability distribution of x hence compute quantities in this situation compute quantities such as probability of the modulus of x minus expectation of x less than or equal to k less than or equal to k. We cannot evaluate such properties from the knowledge of expectation of x and variance of x. So, several approximation technique have been developed to find upper and lower bound to such probabilities upper bound so this is helpful for finding upper bound lower bound the most important of such technique is Chebyshev inequality so now we can see the Chebyshev inequality Chebyshev's inequality So, Chebyshev inequality if x is a random variable, x is a random variable with mean expectation of x equal to mu and variance variance v of x equal to sigma square then it will be help to find the upper limit and lower limit upper bound lower bound so probability of x minus mu modulus greater than or equal to c any constant less than or equal to sigma square by c here c greater than 0 c greater than 0 or this is a find the value maximum upper bound probability of x minus mu modulus of less than c greater than or equal to 1 minus sigma square by c square when c greater than 0 so this is our Chebyshev inequality form to find the values of upper bound and lower bound. The alternative form, so alternative form of Chebyshev inequality is nothing but if we put the value c equal to k sigma where k is nothing but greater than 0, then the Chebyshev inequality is nothing but 
Chebyshev's inequality takes the form see here this is a form in this form we can use c equal to k sigma c equal to k sigma so where to substitute here c k sigma substitute where c k sigma so therefore probability x minus mu greater than or equal to k sigma less than or equal to sigma by k sigma now this value is nothing but k sigma sigma square i think this formula sigma square by c square so this is a k sigma value k square sigma so when i cancel this sigma square this is a k sigma square because c square value k square sigma square it will be cancel therefore x minus mu greater than or equal to k sigma less than or equal to 1 by k square this k will be cancel sigma square will be cancel 1 by k square or so another form substitute another form this is the upper bound to calculate the upper bound another form it will be help to for some problem therefore c equal to k sigma put c equal to k sigma so the probability x minus mu modulus of less than k sigma then greater than or equal to 1 minus sigma square by k square sigma square when i cancel this sigma square it will change with this probability of x modulus mu modulus x minus mu modulus less than k sigma greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by k square here k greater than or equal greater than 0 and k greater so this is a form to calculate this upper bound lower bound so this is a calculation upper bound this formula see this is a upper bound this formula upper bound and this formula lower bound maximum minimum value same another form this is the one another form this form is upper bound and this form is lower bound this form is lower bound so next video we can discuss with some problems thank you